Me too. My first cactus. You can't eat sorry. that grass. You'll be sorry. Karma found her first lizard over there too. We are at the Petroglyph National Monument. We're walking two and a half miles to go see petroglyphs. And then we're gonna try to get somewhere near Petrified Forest tonight. The trails are so flat. Well, they're sandy. Karma stops and smells this bush every time we go by one. Come on. Look, watch, she'll stop at this one. Oh, there she goes, stopping at the next one. Nope, now she won't do it. All right, just kidding, guys. It is pouring. down pouring. Mike has a poop bag and his camera's under his shirt. Karma's pissed. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're back in the van. I'm using the pillow to edit our videos and stuff. But when we went to the visitor center, they said that this trailhead has had a lot of break-ins. And of course, all of our belongings are in here, but we're like, it's fine, whatever. So when we came over, a law enforcement guy parked behind us, but didn't get out of the vehicle. And we like hiked halfway in, quarter of the way in, that started downpouring, so we turned around and came back. And then we saw the law enforcement guy like in a deep valley looking for something. And he saw that we spotted him and then he just like stopped dead in his tracks. So it's something's fishy there. about this place. It's just a weird place. So we're gonna head towards the petrified forest. We don't really know where we're staying now. We're thinking Winslow, Arizona, but someone said it's an hour past the petrified forest. So we'll see. Change of plans. Now we're not gonna go to Winslow, Arizona. We're going to El Moro National Monument to camp. Look at this though. Wow. Campsite at El Moro. Good little view. I'm putting together our little collapsible tea kettle and we're gonna have some ramen in the cup. Mike's gonna put tuna in his. Uh, we just ran into an issue with the cigarette plug for the cooler. It's not working for some reason. But that out. something cool is someone over there is from Maine. What yeah. are the odds? I know, right? We're gonna have to bring karma for a W after we eat. Dinner time. It is really freaking cold here. Yeah, it's like what, 40 something? Yeah, 50 like something? high 40s. And I can't believe it's New Mexico. It's freezing. Yeah, pretty cool land out here. I know you can't see much. Yeah, it's been raining. But we saw a couple of elk. I'll just turn the cooler off, is that fine? Good morning, everyone. Let's say good morning, karma. <laughs> We are soaking in some sun after the rain, taking in the view, and then we're going to go check out some stuff in this national monument. So we're trying to hike in here, and they don't open until 9 o'clock, so let me know how we're the only ones here waiting. Well. So we're a little early, so I just boiled some water in our electric kettle, and we're going to have some oatmeal before we go in. This might be... Alright, we are, I guess, not hiking. We're walking, because this is the entire trail. And Karma's with us. And we are the only ones here right now. Because we got here right when they opened. Look, guys, a cactus! Cool! Don't touch that, Karma. Elevation kicking my ass. Whoa. This is wild. The elevation change is kicking our butts though. It keeps getting more wild. <laughs> it's the oasis. That's pretty cool. Wow. Look at straight up. What are those uh, what are those over there? Wait. Those mud things. Oh, those are like those hornets. hornets. Yeah. Ew. 
Apparently, this is where the settlers used to bring their horses to yeah. drink. Wow, look. Petroglyphs. It says... Uh, it says people used antlers, horseshoe nails, chisels, knives, other tools. We, Sergeant Major and Captain Juan de passed here in the year 1636. Well, we just left El Moro. That was so cool. It was cool. And it was free. I yeah. mean, we have the National Parks Pass, but right. people who didn't have it, it's free for anybody. Yeah. And the camping's free. It was cool. We saw some really cool uh, like inscriptions and petroglyphs and stuff. I asked the ranger and she said that they think the oldest one there is from like 1605. So that's pretty incredible. But yeah. Now we're off to the Petrified Forest and pushing on to Utah. I took a wrong turn and we ended up going through an Indian reservation and we're in the middle of nowhere now. <laughs> like there's actually nothing like <laughs> anywhere. You can see out that way for a very long time. Where is that prairie dog? Yeah, we did see a prairie dog, too. A bunch of prairie land in Arizona. Crazy. Made it to the Petrified Forest Visitor Center. What our first stop at the Petrified Forest. It's not too, too busy, and our bark ranger is doing good. I didn't see here. We are. Okay. Oh, fireplace. These were all apartments. So neat. I think that one looks like. It's the migration symbol. Is it? Yep. What are we doing with that? We're looking at the TPs, aka the titties. A whole lot of sand. A whole lot of sand. Looks like an old road or something right here. Just be sure. Be in your vehicle by 7.30. Or the hungry coyotes might get you. Here we are. stopped in Winslow, Arizona to stand on the corner. <laughs> Hello from the desert. We are, I don't know, just past Paid. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Like, <laughs> that kind of middle of nowhere. But it's cool. Listening to a Marshall Tucker Band tape. We're not supposed to get there until we're going to like hurricane and hopefully we'll get there like nine or ten o'clock. I don't really know. On this really cool bridge that we just drove over and there's a parking area to pull over it's the place where you enter navajo reservation in arizona very cool yeah we met two guys that are going to kayak it tomorrow and fish all day so that was cool very jealous onward so we're in kaibab national uh park or forest uh, national forest it's a little twisty uh very no guardrails <laughs> and that's Ooh, uh that's, that's vermilion cliffs over there 
you might have to go back later. Yeah, that was really... The poor guy behind us. I know, he's like, I just want to rip this Lexus. I know, and we're like a snail. All over right here. See you, friend. Hope we can get going again up a hill. You got it. Come on, Morrison. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You're a good van. <laughs> Made it 3,000 miles. Like yeah. 3,700, I think. Something like that. That's all Vermilion Cliffs. This is fucking terrifying. Don't look over to the right. Jesus. <laughs> We're at 6,000 feet elevation. It's wild. It's like 11 p.m. Cool. We're outside of a family dollar in northern Arizona. It is pouring. But look, five gallons of water is two dollars and fifty cents. Not too bad. And one gallon is fifty cents. Kind of pissed. <laughs> we have one more hour until hurricane. It is eleven twelve p.m. because of the time change from Arizona to Utah, and we are trying to find some place to camp for the night. Hello from Utah. What's up? A little hot here. We dropped Karma off this morning with this really nice guy that we found off Rover. I'm having an issue with like a rash going on. You can't really see it. So we stopped at some place to find a sun shirt, but they were like $85 and we're dirt bags, so we're not doing that. We're looking for like under $15. We're heading towards Zion right now and we're just going to kind of explore today. Tomorrow we're doing Angel's Landing. But yeah, we went grocery shopping this morning and we're in we're in good shape now. Hopefully we're gonna have showers tonight or tomorrow after hiking, laundry, and then we'll pick karma up tomorrow afternoon. But we got new pillows. 